So it seems to be a lot of these motherfucking ex-vegans, you know, they seem to leave veganism. They say, oh, you know, uh, veganism, it caused me to get my fucking bones falling apart and it made me really sick and I've got gut issues now. You know, I've been vegan for fucking 10 years, but all of a sudden it just comes along. Like, what a coincidence, what a miracle. It all of a sudden just comes along out of fucking nowhere. Where, where does this come from? Where does this come from? It's a magical thing. It seems that all these ex-vegans, they seem to be coming out as soon as all these raw meat eaters are coming out with their bullshit fucking channels. All these motherfucking retards. And then they believe what they say. Like, oh, you know, uh, it's natural to eat meat. It's natural. You know, yes, it's natural, but it's also natural to eat plants. Matter is motherfucking matter. If you can eat, pl you can eat plants... Or you can eat motherfucking meat, and you can but eat both and live for fucking years and years and years and years and years. But the difference is, is that plants don't have fucking cholesterol, and they don't have saturated fat. So therefore, you won't get clogged arteries, and you won't get fucking cancer from all the fucking acrylamides and all that fucking shit. Alright? It's a basic common sense. You can eat both. Omnivores. <laughs> basic. Dumbasses. Motherfucking retards. But it's so funny how these cunts actually have the guts so to actually make a video where they're... And this will influence like so many motherfucking cunts out there to eat animal products again and torture animals. How the fuck could you be that much of a scumbag to make a video saying, uh, veganism is bad, so eat animal products again. Imagine how much death you're going to be responsible. Imagine how much torture you're going to be responsible for by doing that. It's pretty stupid. It's a dumb decision. So I don't understand how they could really be that much of a fucking shitty cunt to actually make a video like that. But anyway, you know... Um, the, the, the other funny thing is that other like vegans, they're pretty dumb too. They think that veganism is the only answer to stop animal holocausting. Veganism is the only answer for all the motherfucking problems in the world. When it's motherfucking not the uh, the real answer. All right, veganism is the main answer to stop animal holocaust, supply and demand. You pay the fucking cuts to do it. They're gonna keep doing it. But the other answer, which could also possibly work, is antinatalism. If you do not have fucking kids, you are not supporting the human industry. And the human industry is responsible for setting up the slaughterhouses, it's responsible for murdering animals, it's responsible for doing all this shit, torturing them, it's just so they can get their fucking meat so they can work and be a slave for the government. That's the basic thing about it. And all these motherfuckers are cunts, they don't understand that. They don't understand that back in 1900, the population was like... Um... Six, like, one billion. So, when it was one billion, now it's seven billion. That means that there was, like, six times less animals being killed because the motherfuckers, there's only one billion. Now seven billion. There's six times more people now. There's going to be six times more animals getting killed. Basic supply and demand. You've got to have recipients to do the supply and demand. So, the less motherfucking cunts there are, the less demand there's going to be. Basic. So, don't have kids. If you don't have kids, then you will motherfucking die out. And there'll be no motherfuckers ever again to buy the animal products. So, it's simple. Antinatalism is the fucking answer to all these motherfucking retards who somehow can't eat animal, uh, eat fucking vegan shit because they're retarded or something. I don't know. They all of a sudden get some issues with it.